状態だいっぱいシュートに持っていくさばきこのシュートを頭でそのままこのボールを外すキーパー止めろミクロロベルト俺のドライブシュートミクロフラー<laughs> Having played FIFA for about 4 years in a row, and also being a fan of the anime Captain Tsubasa, or how we know it in Latin America, Super Campeones, I was without a doubt waiting for this game to come out. My cousins and I grew up watching this anime, and I loved how over the top and impossibly amazing the soccer moves could be. This game was a must for me to try. Now I played FIFA since FIFA 17 and after four years of the exact same game I was ready for a fresh new take on soccer. The thing about FIFA and why I bought so many of them is uh, so that I could continue playing soccer with my friends on this mode called Pro Club. This was my absolute favorite mode and almost the only mode I played in these games. This mode allowed me and my friends to play on the same team, with each one of us taking the role of one player in the field. Most of my favorite videos in this channel are of us playing pro clubs. Having that in mind, you would think I would be excited when this game was announced. The only problem is that this mode was not in the game, but you could only play 2v2 with friends online. The good thing is that when I played this game, my expectations did not matter. I had forgotten all about it and I was absolutely blown away. First I played The Journey, starting with episode Tsubasa. I played the arc of Nankatsu Middle School Tournament, which is basically the most memorable moments that I grew up watching. First off, there is a lot of dialogue and I am so glad that all of it was voice acted, which is better than the standards for anime games. And the animation of the characters is generic and repetitive, but it's resembling of the art style of what the anime is. Now for the good stuff. The matches in this game are very fast paced, but in episode Tsubasa, you get a taste of what the anime is all about. Right now I'm gonna show you a match and I give you a step-by-step -step process on how it works. First, you accelerate with L1 and you can dodge with R2, which is pretty basic and easy to learn. The default controls are like playing FIFA. Pass with X, long pass with circle, shoot with square, through pass with triangle. Basic stuff. Now look here. If you're able to dodge two guys in a row with the same player, you will get a special dodge. What this does is it makes your spirit gauge, which is the yellow line right here, feel faster. But when one of your anime main characters fills the shot button, it will do a special shot. It works with passes too. The goalkeeper has a health bar and if you deplete it by bombarding him with special attacks, you can score a goal on him. And the goalkeeper will block almost all of your attacks, so make sure you hit him with your best shot. Why almost? Well, sometimes you just get lucky. So, for example, in this part of the match, I'm fighting with Hyuga, and his shots are powerful and it only requires one shot to make a goal. Now, we hear Subasa think out loud the following. Now, since he mentioned that he has to block the shot, I waited for Hyuga to get the ball, and I grabbed Subasa and pressed L2 when he started to take the shot. And this is what happened. This game has also anime cutscenes, which is a nice touch, and the faces that they do are iconic to the anime. This episode is my favorite part of the game because of these cutscenes. But don't think that it doesn't get any crazier. The more you play, the more crazy. Because there's a new story that can be played with a character that you can create. 
Now to be honest, even though I'm not finished with my player story arc, I haven't stumbled upon any of these cutscenes, and I hope that they would be there through the entire game, since it was very well done. In this case, the new hero story mode lets you become friend and rival with these characters in the game. You can expect a lot of customization and character building on this mode. Once you finish the story mode, your finished character can be used in online games. At the moment, there are only two modes, 1 vs 1 and 2 vs 2. 1 vs 1 being the ranked mode. Gameplay is the same, and playing with friends is always fun. I just keep thinking how cool it would be to play with my friends all on the same team and take on other team of players. So what are the cons? Without going too much into spoilers, I felt that the episode Tsubasa was over too quickly, and I wanted to see more of that. There is so much more of the anime that is not covered here. I wanted to see Tsubasa go to Brazil and grow as a player and meet more new characters. There is a DLC with more characters going in, but at an extra price, and I think they, they all should have been included in the base game. But that's as far as my complaints go. I just want more Captain Tsubasa. That's never a bad thing. And that's about it. It's super fun to play and easy to master, so if you're a beginner to soccer games, don't worry, because this game is more of an arcade nature. This game is a must for the following kinds of people. For fans of the series, for fans of anime games, and for people who enjoy playing FIFA. If you're still on the fence of buying this game because of its AAA game price, wait for a sale. It's definitely worth playing and this type of game doesn't come around very often. I give this game an 8 out of 10. It has so much potential and I hope they improve upon this game. And I definitely want to see more of it. If you're watching at this point of the video, thank you so much for watching all of it. I hope you consider following me, leaving a like and sharing this video. Hope to see you soon. About... Now, 